to the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to the Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today, we celebrate the memorial of St. Peter of Verona, the proto-martyr of the Dominican Order. And as we gather, let's call to mind our sins, and once again, ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, you crowned our brother Peter of Verona with martyrdom for confessing the true faith with perseverance. Give to us, your people, that same faith that we too may receive the gift of salvation. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When he entered Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with a soldier who was guarding him. Three days later, he called together the leaders of the Jews. When they had gathered, he said to them, My brothers, Although I had done nothing against our people or our ancestral customs, I was handed over to the Romans as a prisoner from Jerusalem. After trying my case, the Romans wanted to release me because they found nothing against me deserving the death penalty. But when the Jews objected, I was obliged to appeal to Caesar, even though I had no accusation to make against my own nation. This is the reason then I have requested to see you and to speak with you, for it is on account of the hope of Israel that I wear these chains. He remained for two full years in his loggings. He received all who came to him, and with complete assurance and without hindrance, he proclaimed the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord is in His holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold. His searching glance is on mankind. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord searches the just and the wicked. The lover of violence He hates. For the Lord is just. He loves just deeds. The upright shall see His face. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. Please stand. I will send to you the Spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will guide you to all truth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter turned and saw the disciple following whom Jesus loved, the one who had also reclined upon his chest during the supper 
and had said, Master, who is the one who will betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? And Jesus said to him, What if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? You follow me. So the word spread among the brothers that that disciple would not die. But Jesus had not told him that he would not die. Just what if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? It is this disciple who testifies to these things and has written them, and we know that his testimony is true. There are also many other things that Jesus did, but if this were to be described individually, I do not think the whole world would contain the books that would be written. My dear friends, Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang pananampalataya, mga kapatid, dapat tapat. Ibig sabihin, kapag inako mo ito, pinangako mo, binigay mo, tinanggap mo, dapat habang buhay. Kahit sa gitna ng kamatayan. Ito mismo ang laman ng ating Ibanghelyo sa araw na ito. Take note, this is the final day of the season of Lent. Sorry, season of Easter. Sa susunod na linggo, ang kandilang ito na nagsisimbolo ng panahon ng Easter ay mawawala na po. Kaya kahit po sa Ibanghelyo, it's all about the conclusion of the Gospel of John. Matatapos na ang mga pagbabas, pagbabasa tungkol sa buhay ni Kristo ng panahon ng Easter. And if you are going to look on the readings, the first reading talks about the life of Peter in the prison. Siya po ay kinulong. Ito yung eksena kung saan ay inakusahan ang ating mahal na San, Pablo, San Pedro. Siya po ay nasa loob ng kulungan. At kung titignan ho natin, bakit siya kinulong, yun po ay dahil sa kanyang pananampalataya. At malino na balina po sa naging buhay ng ating mahal na San Pedro, ang kanyang pananampalataya ay panghabang buhay. Kung titignan natin yung kanyang kwento, hindi po ganun kadali. And yet, dahil ito ay kanyang tinanggap, inako, pinangako, ito ay naging panghabang buhay sa kanya. Yun ang tunay na pananampalataya. Kaya dapat tapat. Ngayon din po, kung napapansin niyo, may isa pong santo na nandito sa loob ng basilika. Yan po ay si St. Peter din po ang pangalan. St. Peter of Verona. Siya po ang pinakaunang santo, matir ng aming kongregasyong mga Dominikano. Napakaganda po ng kanyang naging buhay. Habang siya patuloy na naglalakad papunta sa Verona mula sa Bologna, parang tipong manawag to sa nasinto lamang po yan. Ay dahil po sa kanyang malakas ng pananampalataya, abay siya inabangan. At nung sinabihan siya na kailangan niyang ibigay o i-give up ang kanyang pananampalataya, hindi ho siya pumayag. Kaya po siya ay pinatay, tinaga dito sa ulo. Kaya meron pong itak sa kanyang ulo. Namatay siya nung siya tinaga dito sa ulo. Dahil lamang sa kanyang pananampalatayang nagnanais siyang ito'y panghabang buhay, mananatili habang buhay, kahit sa gitna ng kamatayan. Sa Ebanghelyo, nandito ang kwento ni San Juan. Si San Juan Evangelista. Siya po yung nagsulat ng ating Ibanghelyo. At malinaw na sinasabi sa bandang huli, siya ang nakakita ng buong kwento ng huling buhay ni Jesus dito sa lupa bago siya umakyat sa langit. Kaya nga napakahalaga po yung The Gospel of John. Medyo malalim po ang Ibanghelyong iyon. Pero makikita niyo yung lalim ng lalim ng pag-unawa dahil sa kanyang pananampalataya. 
Kaya mga kapatid, mahalaga ang ating pananampalataya na mananatiling tapat sapagkat ito yung magpapanatili sa ating buhay dito sa mundo. Siya ang magbibigay ng lalim ng ating pag-unawa sa lahat ng bagay na nandito sa na napakali, napalibot sa ating buhay. Ang, panatpala, ang pananampalatayang ito ang siyang magbibigay sa atin ng lalim na pag-unawa sa kapwa upang mas matuto tayong magpatawad at magbigay ng pag-unawa sa kapwa. Ang pananampalatayang ito ang siyang magbibigay sa atin ng taus-pusong magpapakumbaba, humingi ng tawad, hindi lamang sa kapwa, pati sa Diyos. Higit sa lahat sa Diyos, lalo na sa pamamagitan ng sakramento ng pangungumpisal. At higit sa lahat, ang pananampalatayang ito ang siyang magpapanatiling tapat sa ating pagsunod sa Kanya. Kaya nawa ang ating pagsunod sa Kanya ay buo, totoo, panghabang buhay at mangyayari lamang yan kapag ito ay may kasamang pananampaltayang tapat. Panghabang buhay kahit sa gitna ng kamatayan. We all stand. Jesus, who himself came to people as a servant in obedience to his Father, wants us to keep God's interest above all things. And for every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may be true servants acting with the same concern that Christ showed to his apostles. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government leaders may be faithful to their commitments and fulfill their duties in the spirit of love and service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who experience difficulties may receive strength from the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the sick may realize that their sufferings undertaken in union with Christ can be turned into blessing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That deceased relatives and friends may enjoy the peace in God's eternal home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, your Son placed your interests above all else, even to the extent of suffering for humankind. Grant that we may always honor Him by making Him most important in our lives. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, you accepted St. Peter's profession of faith as a holy and pleasing sacrifice. Accept these gifts we offer you in living faith, that the, hope, the body and blood of the spotless Lamb may be for our welfare and for our salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. We praise and bless you today as we recall the heavenly birth of our brother Peter of Verona, your priest and martyr. This great preacher struggled for the integrity of the gospel, even to the shedding of his blood for the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And so we join with him and with all the angels and saints as they praise your glory forever. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Please. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Peter of Verona, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say... Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
please stand. Let us pray. O Lord, we confess in word and deed the praises of the Passover victim. By the life and prayers of St. Peter of Verona, may we persevere in communion with the immolated Lamb, even unto death. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now do the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of all your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may all your religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh, oh, oh.